Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. Today, I'll be reviewing Yati Paint Sprayer. Can a beginner use a paint sprayer? If you are a beginner or novice, you can use a paint sprayer. But you must practice using it before painting the item you plan to paint. Get scrap plywood or scrap materials that match the type of material you plan to paint. Get a feel of handling the gun and understand the flow of sprays and thickness of the carpet. See how the spray pans out and look for overspray and see if you notice drips. Practice moving the spray from side to side and look at how the paint spray is affected by moving closer. And farther away from the subject, also wear old clothes that you don't care about getting ruined by paint spray. A paint sprayer is convenient for applying paint in less time than with a brush or roller. Painting with a sprayer makes the work easy on big or small jobs. You can stain a bench with a sprayer or use one to paint an entire house in stereo. Paint sprayers have an obvious advantage. They can spread paint, stain, and clean finishes faster than any brush or roller. But just as important is their ability to apply and even coating to uneven surfaces like window shutters and stair balusters, fertile ground for brush drips. Is it better to brush or spray paint? Hand brushing a new color may not give you the complete even coverage you are even looking for. A spray gun will give you full coverage and a more even coating for your new paint color. Spray is more versatile and it can be used on many different surfaces with an even finish and little paint stick. Which feature to look for in the best paint spray? A well-built motor equals a well-built paint spray. If you want to spray your gun to stay working for years, you must make sure that the gun you are buying has a great sturdy motor. The motor of the sprayer does the major work of operating the machine, hence it must be well built and strong. The nozzle of the sprayer machine or gun must be sturdy and some cheap sprayer tend to have nozzles too far off the spraying session is being carried out. In this vein, the spray splashed on the ground or the floor the time you were having or sleeping while using it won't be safe anymore. So a sturdy nozzle is a feature that shouldn't be compromised while purchasing a paint sprayer. The pressure is with which the paint sprayer is a game changer in the painting process. If the pressure is more than it should be, the painted surface can become rough and the pressure should be moderate so that your project is not destroyed. The sprayer's flow means that the flow with which the paint will come out of the sprayer. Sometimes you need a heavy flow such as for a large project, sometimes you want lighter flow whenever you are working in a small space, the flow of the paint should be adjustable according to your project, you should buy the one that has a highly adaptable build. Is it easy to use a paint sprayer? Well, paint sprayer may seem easy at the first, but it can be tricky to learn to do well if you have never used a paint sprayer before, now may not be easy to waste time to learn. Apply paint, paint by advertising droplets or two of a spray nozzle good for exterior, better at handling thicker lattice paints, causes some risk of injection injuries, high pressure makes tool difficult for beginners to use, an expensive tool that is actually rented. There are three alternative spray painters available for the paint sprayer, like horizontal, vertical layer, and vertical and circular. It has five different nozzles like 1.2mm, 1.5, 1.8, 2.5 and 3.mm. For various painting projects such as furniture, automobiles, fences, exterior walls, garage doors, garden tables and chairs etc. It is detachable making it easier to use, clean and the painted output can be controlled by adjusting the flow control knob on the sprayer to obtain different paint outputs. Let's talk about the pros. Its copper nozzles can withstand more pressure than plastic nozzles. High quality nozzles are less prone to flung. Every component has a pass through a 1.5 meter millimeter high drop test with a full load in the bottom. And let's talk about the cost. It cannot be operated by a battery. 
That's all for my today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.